into the woods, 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 into the woods. Okay, I'll shut up. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Into the Woods. Into the Woods is a Disney fantasy family comedy musical film. And you have Rob Marshall, who is the director for this film. You've got Meryl Streep, Emily Blunt, James Corbin, Anna Kendrick, Chris Pine, Lucy Punch, Tracy Ullman, and Johnny Depp. Into the Woods is a blend of these fairy tales such as Jack and the Beanstalk, Red Riding Hood, Cinderella, Rapunzel, and basically the baker and his wife are childless because the baker's wife isn't pregnant. So Meryl Streep, who plays the witch, she asks us to get all of these possessions from all of these other fairy tales in order for Emily Blunt to have a baby. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know what to expect from this movie. I mean, the trailers didn't really give me much. I would watch the trailers going, okay, it looks visually nice. Basically, I just went into Into the Woods with an open mind, pretty much not knowing anything about the movie. But it is based off of a Broadway musical, which I honestly didn't know until I saw the end credits of the movie. So now that I've seen Into the Woods, what do I think of this movie? I actually liked it. Personally, I love the musical genre. And it honestly saddens me that nowadays, we don't really get a lot of musical films. The visual effects, wow, they look fantastic. And they're CGI effects, but they don't really look all that noticeable to me. I actually think the visual effects in Into the Woods look absolutely beautiful. Emily Blunt, she's really great as the baker's wife. James Corbin, he's really great as the baker, and he even adds some comic relief. Meryl Streep, she was great in this movie. So Meryl Streep, she pulled off the role very well. And then yes, I know, despite the fact that she isn't blonde in this movie, Anna Kendrick as Cinderella, I thought she did a very good job. And honestly, it didn't really bug me that they casted someone that isn't blonde. That honestly didn't bug me. I think it's because Anna Kendrick just pulled off the role of Cinderella so well that it really made me forget for a sec in the movie actually that Cinderella was actually blonde. That she acted well. She sang beautifully, which is to no surprise because you've seen how well she sings in Pitch Perfect. Chris Pine, he does a really good job here. And he plays the prince who's pretty much like me, me, me. He even has his moments of being funny as well. There's the actress that plays Red Riding Hood. I thought she did a really good job and her singing was terrific. The little young actor that played Jack for Jack and the Beanstalk did a really good job here as well. And his singing was really nice. And then Johnny Depp for that little time limit he had as a wolf. Man. Does he make his short screen time worth it? I really enjoyed where the storyline was going for these characters. I really enjoyed the journey. But the thing that does surprise me about Into the Woods is how dark it actually does get in the final 25 minutes. I know there were a lot of criticisms going on about how there was a certain point, how the movie's going to end, and then it drags on for another 25 minutes. I can understand why people aren't going to like the final 25 minutes, because not only does it drag on when the movie was supposed to end sooner or later, but it's because the tone really does completely shift, and I really understand why people just aren't going to like Into the Woods doing that. And that certain point when Into the Woods did look like it was going to end, I'm all like, man. That was one short as hell movie. And then and I saw that the movie actually had like 25 or 30 more minutes left. I'll be honest, I was actually pretty satisfied. I did love the direction that Into the Woods took in the final 25 to 30 minutes. It was definitely dark. It was definitely a direction I didn't expect. The running time for the movie wasn't a problem with me at all, to be honest. Now, I do have a few problems with Into the Woods. One of them is honestly Rapunzel. I didn't really feel like Rapunzel in general as a character or even her story serve any purpose for the movie in general. I just didn't really get the point of her even being in this movie. Her storyline 
really wasn't all that important compared to the other stories that we get to see in Into the Woods. The acting for the stepmother and the sisters of Cinderella, their acting was very cartoonish. I get that's the point, but the actresses, I really don't like to sound harsh, but I really didn't think they did a good job in their acting. And the final problem I had is Johnny Depp being extremely underused in this movie. Like I said, he was great for that very minimal screen time that he had. And when I say very minimal, I'm not joking when I say that. And that was a problem because he was so good as a wolf. Overall, I think Into the Woods is a very well done musical. You know, definitely as a musical, it is very great. I love the singing. Everyone brought in their A game. Cinematography looks beautiful. The CGI visual effects look very breathtaking. Some of the best visual effects I've honestly seen in a Disney live action movie. I'm going to give Into the Woods three out of four stars. So comment down below, let me know, what did you think of Into the Woods? And if you actually have seen the Broadway musical, let me know, what did you think of that as well? This is 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I'm gonna go into the woods, into the woods, with tiger power. Yeah.